Hello, second grade friends, and welcome to Number Corner. For Number Corner today, we will be working on our computational fluency. Remember, someone who has computational fluency is able to work very quickly and easily with numbers. By the end of our lesson, you will be able to say, I can identify, make 10 facts, and break 10 facts. Here's what you'll need today. You will need your Number Corner student book. It's blue on the top and white on the bottom. It says Number Corner right up here. You will need a pencil, one green crayon, and one red crayon. We will be practicing our computational fluency on page 18 in your Number Corner student books. It looks like this. On the top it says Scout Out Tense. Find this page in your student book and gather your materials. Once you have everything you need, open up your student book to page 18. Let's look at these problems together. Number one says circle all the make 10 facts in green. Then take a pencil and go back and do them. Now remember, our make 10 facts are facts that equal 10. Let's look at a few. Let's look at six plus four. Check on your fingers. Does six plus four equal 10? Hold out six fingers. Put out one, two, three, four more. We have 10. We'll circle this fact in green. Notice how I didn't put an answer yet. I'm just circling facts. What about five plus five? Think, think about your fingers. Does this make 10? Yes, it does. We need to circle this one. You're going to look at every fact in number one, or every equation, and you're going to circle the facts that equal 10. Then you'll get out your pencil, and you can solve these facts. 6 plus 4 equals 10. 5 plus 5 equals 10. Solve all the make 10 facts first, then you can solve the rest of the equations. Number two is asking you to do something very similar. Only this is where you need your red crayon. Number two says circle all the break 10 facts in red. Remember, a break 10 fact starts with 10 and takes something away. So let's look at these. 10 minus 5. Is this a break 10 fact? Yes, it is. How do you know? This equation starts with 10, and it's taking something away. So we'd circle this equation. How about the next one? This is a break 10 fact. It starts with 10 and it takes 2 away. 10 minus 2. What about this next one? 9 minus 5. This is not a breakdown fact, so we do not circle it. After you circle all of your break 10 facts, you'll solve them. 10 minus 5 equals 5. 10 minus 2 equals Solve all of these equations. Number three says write two addition and two subtraction equations to match each 10 frame. We can see in our example that we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight dots and two empty squares. So our first equation is eight plus two. If we had two more dots right here, we would have 10. 
our second equation says 10 minus 2 equals 8. Imagine we had 10 dots all to start with. Then we took 2 away. And now we have 8 dots left. You can think of an addition equation. That's the opposite of your first one. And a subtraction equation. That's the opposite of your first one. That's how you solve number three. Do all three boxes. Number four says fill in the missing numbers. Four plus something equals 10. 10 equals five plus something. 10 minus something equals seven. 10 minus something equals two. This is your job for number corner today. When you're all finished, you'll take a picture of this page and show your teacher. See you next time for Number Corner.